Hi guys, today I'm going to visit few flea markets. I'm trying to find some things to go, like creepy things or weird things or just something interesting. So let's go and see what I can find. So I went to a few different flea markets and there were quite a lot of people. So I tried to film without showing anyone's faces. And usually when I visit flea markets, I come across something weird or gross, but this time there wasn't really anything that interesting, except for few things. I did find Mrs. Lepakko, aka Mrs. Bat, and she was just super cute, so I had to buy her for Halloween, and she has a girlfriend now. Also, I've forever ruined Paw Patrol for myself. We also had a comedian among us, definitely wasn't me. There was absolutely stunning arts and crafts everywhere that felt kind of tempting and also new career options once I decide to quit YouTube for good. Yeah, bitch! So yeah, this time there wasn't really anything that weird or creepy and I almost gave up. But then I saw this little guy and I had no idea what it was, so I bought her and she only cost me 50 cents. And then I spotted the saddest little dog I've ever seen and I just couldn't leave him behind. And he was also 50 cents, so it's just a bargain. So yeah, nothing that great, but at least I managed to grab these couple of things. But the absolute best purchase of the whole trip was this amazing 80s greenish winter coverall that cost me 5 euros. So that wasn't really a success, except for the coveralls, but I'm just glad I was able to find something and I'm gonna start with this guy. At first I had no idea what the hell this was, so I did some googling and turns out this is a toy line called My Squishy Little something and her name is My Squishy Coco the Cotton Candy Cloud. I also found this 3D animated music video of these squishy characters on YouTube doing the fucking floss dance. And you know, when I bought her, I thought she wouldn't do anything other than stare at me with those dead eyes. But she actually talks. Oh, hi. Yeah, not sinister at all with the red light coming out of her fucking eyes. She also has a body. <laughs> Jesus Christ, calm down. So yeah, Coco is supposed to be a pink cloud with a unicorn body and a horn. But honestly, to me, these look like giant tumors. Like she has a very deformed head. And I think it looks like she's wearing a mask, as if she has someone else's severe face on her own. Like some proper leather face shit going on. Because her eyes are so deep set and there are these rings around her eyes. So it adds to that effect. And her horn kind of comes through the mask. So this is definitely not her own face. I think she should be called My Little Squishy leather face to be honest so i drew coco and i wanted to turn this into a horror piece remember in my last soul patrol video when i said i kept this really light so there's no blood or anything because um youtube yeah forget that <laughs> there will be blood this time so just a warning so my idea for this was that coco is actually just a unicorn, like this white little unicorn creature with a little rainbow heart on her chest that lives with these little pink cloud creatures in some magical Candyland universe. Because in that creepy music video, there were a landscape with flying donuts and candies and rainbows and lollipop trees. And these cloud dudes, they look all cute and innocent, but they just bully Coco every single day and they never accept her. <laughs> Maybe she's the last of her kind. Maybe they bullied her whole species out of existence. And you know, finally one day, Coco just fucking snaps and goes for a killing spree with her tiny chainsaw that she owns for some reason. I guess she was prepared all along. And she just wants revenge. She's had enough and she kills every single one of the cloud dudes while wearing one of their faces. Good for her. So I wanted the background to be really colorful and cheerful with the blue sky and these big pink cotton candy clouds and the flying donuts and everything because it kind of makes this whole thing even more grim. Like these characters may look all cute and innocent and they live in this magical place but there is some really dark stuff happening. Bullying, discrimination, murder and it kind of gives me the happy three friends vibes in a way 
So yeah, the cloud creatures are like hiding from her, huddling together, begging for mercy, but it's no use. You can't run from her. <laughs> I just really want to apologize. <laughs> And of course, her chainsaw is pink, the cutest little chainsaw. I think it's funny that they even have chainsaws in this universe. Well, I guess they do have to cut the candy trees sometimes, or trim the cotton candy bushes. Drawing this background was so satisfying, because I often draw very dark pictures, like with very dark colored palettes. So it's really refreshing to draw something colorful and still keep the horror theme. And clouds? Uh, it's my most favorite thing to draw. I could just draw clouds and nothing else every single day. I just love drawing them, it's so relaxing. Also the donuts was super fun to draw and I wanted to give them more painterly look uh, with no line art. I think it gives a good contrast to the characters. Uh, just another completely normal day in my squishy little universe. I thought about adding some dead bodies in the background, but I bailed at last minute because I'm a coward. So when you turn the toy on, she says, and I wanted to add that. Like in movies when someone says a bad one-liner and then immediately kills someone. Yeah, I was going for that because that's exactly what's gonna happen here. So yeah, at first I thought this was gonna be a big mess, but I like it. I like the bright colors and I'm really happy with the little details like this particular donut. That's my favorite. And I wonder what she looks like underneath. I guess she looks a bit like a chief for My Little Pony. Maybe she is a My Little Pony. Rarity just went batshit crazy. So next, this little puppy. I actually love this. I think this is just a beautiful item. I think it's very old. He has a hole on his head and he's missing the bottom part. And he's a bank. The saddest little dog bank. I've ever seen. So I kept the horror theme, shocking, because he's this weird bluish green color and these black markings kind of remind me of some oil or just some black goo coming out of him and he has this curly fur that kind of makes him look like he's melting. So I got the idea to turn him into this mutated monster puppy that oozes oil, a bit like Creepspit from Biker Mars from Mars. Maybe he was a stray dog that got infected with some strange virus or maybe he fell into a radioactive oil barrel which mutated him and now he lives in the streets, in the dark alleys, dripping oil everywhere he goes. Never let me write any stories, holy shit. So the dog has these very big sad eyes and overall he, he, looks, he just looks like really sad. I want to know why they made him so sad. Well I guess it was really sad times then. So I wanted to make this character look really sad and a bit creepy, like his fur is melting. I don't even know if he has fur, it's more like goo or slime, at least partially. Like he's cute in a very creepy, unsettling way, kind of like the cute dog from It that turns into a monster, something like that. I had no particular idea for that background, I just imagined him wandering the streets at night and I admit I got a bit lazy with the background. I kept it quite simple and colored it more loosely than usual because usually I really want to play with details but I don't know I just this time I just didn't want to spend too much time with it. I wanted to focus on the character itself so the background is it's just a very generic like dark alley. He's just wandering around looking for something maybe, I don't know, maybe his dead mom or something who gave him that color. I just love how I'm able to give these lovable characters their beautiful backstories. So I tried to mimic his black markings with the liquidy oily stuff, like he has this M-shaped marking on his forehead. And I wanted this black goo come out of him, kind of like Venom and the black symbiote thing. I know nothing about Venom, so I'm just terribly sorry if I have no idea what I'm saying. I'm just... You know the black thing coming out of Venom. I had that in mind. Uh, so congrats, I managed to turn this sad, sad little dog into not only even more sad, 
but sad and fucking depressed dog. I feel so good now. A depressed dog with mouth full of black vomit. And the blue color makes him look even more sick, but that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted him to look like shaggy. And at first I was going to make him so much more scarier with, you know, more limbs and a giant open mouth with a lot of teeth and his eyes melting off but I wanted to keep his design closer to the original and I'm happy I did that. So there you have it. Uh, here are both drawings. Choose your fighter. Who has more tragic backstory? I'm pretty sure anyone can come up with better backstories than I do so if you have something in mind and want to share those please do so in the comments. I'll probably visit some flea markets again soon, so I'll keep my eyes open for more stuff. And if you enjoyed this, I can probably make part two. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Also, check out my last video where I draw Saw Patrol. You know, Saw patrol since both movies were released on the same day a few days ago i still haven't seen either of them but i'm planning on going it's just i live in the middle of nowhere but i'm trying also want to give a shout out to user artsypanda96 on instagram they drew me this really cute fan art it's been a long long time since i got any fan art and it makes my heart so happy thank you so much for this okay guys i'll just take my stuff and I'll take my sexy coveralls and I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. So, bye bye. Ah!